guys, it's Miss Julianne coming to you with the Galborn Public Library at your home. We have some more sensory fun projects. Today we're going to do some different painting and art projects. And the first project we're going to start with is sticker art. So you could just give your kids a bunch of stickers and have them, well, you're probably going to have to help them peel off the back and stick them on paper or so that could be the whole project kids love to do the sticker art or you could paint on top of the stickers so let's put a little we're going to put a little of our turquoise bluish paint on here and paint around or on top of a sticker You kind of paint however they want and then when you're done you could leave the stickers on there just as they are or you can do what I'm doing here I'm taking the sticker off and you have the snow uh, flake print on the paper like a little relief from the paint so that's our first project a little messy if you don't uh, leave time for the paint to dry. Okay, so now we have a clean, no mess art project or fairly mess free. We're going to get a couple of different colors of paint. This is our uh, paint in a bag. So you need a gallon Ziploc bag, uh, some construction paper or uh, thicker paper, uh, cardstock, and you're going to cut it down to the size of the bag, or a little smaller, just slip it inside, and then score it maybe two or three different colors of paint. I say mess free, but I always end up with a ton of paint on my fingers just from opening the paints. Okay, so I've squirted our paints inside. And then I'm gonna seal the Ziploc bag back up so I kind of have blobs. And then the kids can kind of, they, could, they can draw, they can press, can do whatever you want. It's a really kind of fun texture with the paint in there even make little kind of handprints on that so that's pretty easy you can uh, just set it on the counter to dry you could tape it up on a cabinet and it'll dry quickly that way okay. tin foil art so you can draw on different uh, substances other than just paper I kind of like the tin foil because it makes a crinkling sound as you're painting so I kind of like to ask myself or challenge myself when I see objects to think not could I paint with that or use that in art but how could I use that in art so uh, look around you and just see all kinds of different things and you can make art with them so I'm going to put a couple different colors of paint on my tin foil and for this one you could have the kids use their fingers, or if you have any paint brushes handy, or you could use a fork. A fork would be fun to make uh, a picture with. So I'm gonna paint. You can kind of hear the crinkling noises as I'm painting. Kind of fun just to, and then you can go back over it after you've made your picture and I made an A for my daughter Anna. Okay. Our next one is we're going to do a rolling pin art. So these are little tiny rolling pins that uh, come in uh, Play-Doh sets and they're not the smooth ones, they're the bumpy ones with lots of different ridges on there if you can kind of see. So I'm going to squirt a little gold right onto the roller. 
gold paint. Oh, some of it dripped onto the paper. So then the kids can roll. And it's kind of fun because they can hear the sound of the rolling pen. And it's making a nice pattern that you can see on the paper. You can add lots of different colors. I'm just doing the one color today. And then we have another kind of rolling pin art. This one's really fun. So it is bubble wrap rolling pin art. So this is also another one of the little mini uh, rolling pins that you would find in a Play-Doh set. And you take double stick tape and you're going to cover the whole rolling pin with double stick tape and then you um, take a piece of bubble wrap that you've cut down to the size of your rolling pin and cover the rolling pin with the bubble wrap and then squirt a couple different colors onto your paper And the kids can have fun just rolling through the paint with their rolling pin. So this one, because I put so much paint, it didn't leave a really huge pattern on it, but it's still really fun for the kids. Might be fun, you can do a... Uh, a larger piece of paper. Another kind of bubble wrap art you could do, uh, we did it in our sensory fun program, was we took a giant piece of paper, like a poster board side, taped it to the floor, and then put paint on top of the poster board, and then covered the poster board with bubble wrap. And then the kids would run or walk on top of the um, bubble wrap, and then they would move the paint around, kind of, uh, just a fun way to, different fun way to paint. So, so for our art today, we had the bubble wrap rolling pin art. We had the regular rolling pin art. We had the tin foil art that you can use with a paintbrush or the fingers. We had the paint in a bag and our sticker art. So I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the different ways you can paint and I hope you think of even more new ways that you can paint and different things you can paint with and I'll see you next week for, for some more sensory fun. Bye guys!